Daphne here from Daphne's Dance. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here with me today. And I'm super excited because we almost have a hundred subscribers. I know that's not much, but for me it's a lot because all those 99, 98 subscribers that I have right now are been with me almost since the beginning of this channel. So that being say, thank you so much. Today, I'm going to remake a soap that I did a really long time ago, but I did not make a video of it. I did make my Minnie Mouse soap, but I did not make the video of the Mickey Mouse soap. So I'm tweaking it a little bit, I'm changing a little bit of the colors, and i obviously changing the fragrance. Which, this fragrance is great because this soap is for a little boy, and I think the fragrance is just perfect for it. So, here it is. I'm gonna try to get I'm, I'm making it like a retro kind of looking so I'm I really want to make sure that I get at least this kind of right uh, I don't even know how to say it anyways something like this is like our soap should be looking we gotta do yellow in the bottom red in the middle and black in the top we're gonna make the ears they are right here we're gonna put them on top and we're gonna make a piping and it's gonna be awesome we're gonna be using pheromone uh fragrance oil from nurture soap i love it it's really really good black iron oxidite we're gonna go outer ego black uh bio glitter eco glitter uh we're gonna use neon red pigment obviously for the red and we're gonna use a little bit of mango tango mica and lemon drop mica okay whoops so all that being said i'm going to grab here because i use a little bit of my um sodium lactate to help me you know on mold a little bit easier whenever we're taking this off now i'm going to pour my light water solution in here i'm going to put this over right here now i'm going to stick blend So they looks looks all right. Now I'm going to separate my colors. I put this right here. I'm going to grab this here. I'm gonna put this here for my yellow. This one here for my red. And the rest is gonna be for my black. Okay. Okay. Let me grab one of these. And I'm using more lemon drop than I using um, orange. So. Let's see if we get the color we want. Okay, so just a little bit. I don't want to use too much, but I don't know what's going to be too much, you know? So I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm a bit scared I'm going to use way too much of it. So here is our red. And I'm gonna use quite a bit of it. A little bit more. I think that'll be good. Now I'm going to use my black oxidite for my black. I really don't need much for this. So 
that's gonna be it I'm going to start from this lightest color which today is gonna be our orange and yellow <laughs> that yellow so I will have to use a little bit more of it where is my yellow oh. <laughs> here it is maybe if I use a little bit more of it I love this soap last time I make it came out amazing but it gave me trouble too <laughs> to add a little bit of my fragrance now I'm just going to stick plan again real quick to be honest I do feel like it does look like the color of my of the shoes that I'm looking for if you see it closely they do look kind of okay that way they kind of look like I don't know it looks a little bit more yellow in the picture than what it's supposed to be okay so now I'm just going to pour All my yellow in here and I'm going to wait for this to get hard enough for me to be able to um, put the second layer which is gonna be my red and after that I'm going to put the black and so on and so on and when I finish this, I'm gonna come back with the piping and we're gonna pipe and put our ears on top of our little mold. Okay, so yellow, next red, and next black. And when we come back, piping. Okay, I see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so I'm back. And my piping looks like it's all set and ready to use at least that's what i think so let's begin i love to make my piping really dark The only problem is I use glasses and when my I don't have my glasses on, I can barely see what I'm doing. So I'm just here piping all this beautiful soap and you're still going to continue seeing me piping. But I'm going to fast forward this real quick until I'm done and it's time for us to put our cute little embed. Okay, so I see you guys in a little while.
Okay, so it's time to put our embeds. But before we do that, we're going to use our outer, outer ego, ego glitter all over our Mickey Mouse ears, I guess, or head, because we have ears. <laughs> we have ears. Oh my goodness. If you have kids, you got that one. Okay, perfect. Now, the foam part. Her little embed. So, I'm going to come here. And I'm going to put this right here. Put this right here. Making sure all of them look about the same high. Right here. Right here. And right there. Okay. So we are done, and I'm going to show you real quick. That's how it should be looking, right there. And I'm going to leave this soap for 24 to 48 hours until it's already done and ready to be cut. And we are going to see how these actually look. This shimmery of this soap is crazy. Look at that. I'm pretty happy with it. Now we just have to see how it's going to turn out. So here he is. And I see you guys when it's time to cut the soap. Bye-bye. Good morning, guys. It's next day. And here we are. We're about to cut our soap. Our Mickey Mouse inspired soap. Remember I told you this is going to be like a retro soap, so I already cut a little bit on my end and look at that. Way better than how I made it last time. I'm really pleased with it. So let's begin cutting these babies. So here's one bar. Oh my god. That is gorgeous. I'm really happy. I'm going to try to put a quick picture. I don't know. I'm not really good at all this editing and all that going on. But I'm going to try to place a picture of my first one. I mean, it wasn't bad. But the green and, you know, the, the yellow and the black, they all became one. And, I mean, that soap sold out on my Facebook page. Um, but I wasn't really pleased with what I did with that one. So, um, that's why I, I decided to remake it. Um, and this time I have a much better color. So, it does look pretty amazing. I'm really loving this soap. Mickey Mouse is one of my autistic kids' all-time character. He just loves Mickey Mouse. And I always make stuff that my kids like it. Like, let's say, Moana, my daughter. Moana, somebody's calling me. I'm sorry. Uh, my my daughter loves Moana, and then my son loves Mickey Mouse. So I always try to make something that they like, mainly because I always get like a soap from what I make. I keep one for them, and they just love it. 
So I'm going to continue cutting my sew, which we're almost done right here. So I just wanted to show you how pretty it looks. I'm really happy with it. And whoa. Everything was falling in here. My work area is really tiny. That's the problem. Okay. This one. And this one is basically our last bar. We have a little N in here. Oh my goodness. I'm loving this soap. Okay, so I'm going to grab my embeds and when we come back, we're going to place our embeds real quick, okay? See you guys real quick. Hey guys, so we're back. And um, as you, you see here, I already have most of my soaps done. And I have two left, and I'm going to show you how I place my little embeds right here. Remember, like I say, our Mickey Mouse is going to be a retro Mickey Mouse. So I try to make it, oh, Jesus Christ. I try to make it like this. And I think I kind of got it. So I'm really, really happy with the results. Oh, Jesus, I could just dump this stuff all over here. I'm telling you, I'm so clumsy. It's not even, it's not even funny anymore. Okay, so... Let me reach out for one of my beautiful soaps. I'm going to put it right here, right? And here I have my two little embeds, my two, my two little buttons that Mickey have. And I'm just going to turn around, and this is just test your water. Do not use that water, please. So I'm just going to put a little bit of water around. And that white that you see there, that's just cornstarch. Why is cornstarch? Because soap dough tends sometimes to um, stick in the surface you, in the surface you're working on. So cornstarch just prevents for that to happen. And I use my little finger, just because my fingers are really tiny, to uh, place about the size of where it's supposed to be where the embed should be going okay so here we are Oops. right there and I'm trying to put them all the same height and here he is and it should be st stick right on it shouldn't fall or anything like that so here's the last one and once again I'm going to do the same thing Flip my work, water, sorry I'm full of glitter from this soap, put my finger in here to make sure I know where they're going, there is one, and then I do the same thing, flip my work, with this one, water, turn my work, put my finger, And there we are and here is our pretty cute Mickey Mouse soap I really hope you enjoyed this video remember to share like and subscribe to my channel for more of my videos remember to follow me on Instagram Facebook and Twitter I do sneak peeks of everything I'm gonna be doing next before I post all my videos um, thank you so much for being here, and that's all I have to say for today. Just remember to subscribe. Bye-bye. Thank you, guys.